Hello there Virgo, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your new moon reading. New, the new moon for this month is a very, very synchronistic cycle for me because it happens on the 11th of February. Now the 11th of, in numerology, 11, is all about new cycles, new a new life, a new beginning. And um, it's all about spiritual enlightening, spiritual awakening. So it is absolutely beautiful to have the first new moon of the year um, in, is it the first new moon of the year? I'm not sure. Anyway, but yeah, in January when we're still closing out stuff from 2020. So for me, it feels like, it, even if it's not, it feels like it is the first new moon of the year. So anyway, let's see, um, Virgo, what is your overall energy for this time? Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Okay, so what I feel with this is that you have been laying the foundations um, for whatever new beginning or new way of life you are going to um, embrace from now on. But you need to trust the divine plan. You need to trust and not, um, not doubt. Did I make the right decision? Um, is this a, the right place for me to be? Step out of your comfort zone. Is this the right place for me to be? Did I, did I take the right turn off? Um, was I right to not take the turn off? So I feel that there's a lot of doubt in your mind, Virgo, and I feel that this is telling you to trust the divine plan. What is rising up in you? What is the main message this new moon is bringing you? And your outcome. Okay, Virgo, what's rising up in you? Don't let your past hold you back. Exactly. Exactly. This is a new beginning. It's a new way of life. It's a new cycle. Whatever happened in the past, leave it in the past. It does not fit in with your new plan. Um, the main message this moon is bringing you, a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. This card is, I think this is the card that's come out the most in, in the readings that I've done today. So it's crazy. So I feel like somewhere along the line, something really big is going to happen. And it's, it's, it's coming and it's, it's going to be a climax and it's going to boom and everything is going to change right after that. And you are the first sign that I feel that for. So this is going to be interesting. Your outcome, Virgo, your own sign, you are good enough. The full moon in Virgo. The full moon, once again, is the end of a cycle and we are approaching the new moon. So these are things that you really need to release and let go right now. Because Virgo, you are good enough for this. You are good enough for whatever your path is taking you to right now. And you need to trust that. So let's see, Virgo, um, what messages the angels want to add to this reading for you. What messages do you want to add for Virgo angels during this new moon phase? Ooh, and you are the third sign with this card as well. Clear your vibes. Archangel Metatron, thank you Metatron for clearing my energy field. This is really, really, really important. Um, and all of these things, don't let your past hold you back. You are good enough. That is residual old energy in your energy field and you need to get rid of those, Virgo. So I propose you do energy work, um, do some meditations, do some releasing and just Condition your mind to think into the new and not think into the old. Virgo, I wish you a beautiful new moon phase and I will see you on the flip side.